got a good one coming for y'all. D with a Z over here, hosting with, you already know, my wife Josephine. We about to make this shrimp boil for y'all. It's about to be smacking. Just like, man, it's about to be so good. So while we're about to make this smacking shrimp boil, make sure to go ahead and smack that like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so these are the ingredients that you will need. Um, I will leave everything in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. If you are a seafood lover, then this recipe is for you. We're just sticking with shrimp today, but you could definitely add more seafood and substitute ingredients. Okay, so go ahead and boil some water for your frozen corn and just boil them for about five minutes because they will cook some more in the other pot later on. And we are just chopping them in half because the more it will be for everybody else and you can get <laughs> seconds that way. I'm getting burnt. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to cut my sausages in a slanted way but later on it ends up getting cut just straight on so it doesn't matter as long as your sausages are bite-sized pieces then you are good Okay, so you for sure need to squeeze one whole lemon, but you can do two if you like. Sorry you guys, I'm going to have to cut the volume down on this one because I am not trying to get copyrighted. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Now, I'm adding in my oil and butter together to let them mix. And once the butter is fully melted, I add this special ingredient I learned from watching another YouTuber. And I'll leave her information in the description box below. The ingredient is sweet chili sauce. Now. You have to trust the process, okay? It is gonna be bomb. Now, after you add the, after you add that, you're gonna add in your lemon juice, and then basically you will be adding in all of the other spices. I have made shrimp boil before, but I usually use the sheet pan method. I wanted to try a different method, and this way is actually the woman's method that uses the sweet chili sauce. Okay, so I like potatoes. No, scratch that. I love potatoes as much as the next person, but you guys, I added a little too much potatoes for this pot. Um, I would suggest you only add in one box of small potatoes, and unlike I did, be patient. After you put your potatoes in, let them cook for five minutes. Now I was hungry and decided to just every and decided to just add everything in at one time. Now it did end up turning okay at the end, but I had to cook it for longer. So that would be my tip from what you just seen me do. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and add in your corn now. You're going to let it all cook in with each other for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm telling you guys, after that corn is put in, oh my gosh, my mouth was just watering. It looks so delicious. I was just ready to get up in there and 
eat the whole thing up, but you got to put your foot down. You got to hold yourself accountable. And you got to wait till the end. Now, I just added more crazy Cajun seasoning. Now, from here, it's up to your taste preference. Um, you can add more of whatever you like or you don't eat you don't even need to add more but it's just up to you so go ahead and give everything a good mix and then i'm gonna put the top on it and let it cook for a couple more minutes so i forgot to add this packet in now these little packs has the seasonings in it that was supposed to go on top of the potatoes um, just add it into the pot, give it a mix, and then I think I'm going to add the shrimps in right now, huh? Let's see. Okay, so I just let everything cook together for 20 minutes on low. And then now I'm going to add in my shrimp. So I like to add my shrimp last because it cooks the quickest. And I don't want them to become extra like curled up because that'll be overcooked. So I just let them in there, put the top back on. I heated it up for another 10 minutes, I would say, and it was done. I mean, look at this, you guys, amazing. Oh my gosh. 